now let us come to the definition of an inverse of a, of of an element right so 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 inverse definition of inverse of an element inverse of an element okay <clears throat> now let us say we are given a binary operation a binary operation star <clears throat> okay star from a cross a to a okay with the identity element with the identity element e okay we have the identity element e element E I, I should say that it belongs to A with the identity element E belonging to A then an element A that belongs to the set A right is said to be invertible is said to be invertible with respect to the operation with respect to the operation star right if there exists an element B belonging to the set A, right? B belonging to the set A such that such that operation of this B and A yield you the identity element okay and from both sides so such that a star b gives you e and also b star a gives you the same identity element right let's try to understand it with respect to the most common thing that we know that is the algebraic addition for addition in in R, the the set of the real numbers, okay. Let's say let us say pick up a number two and what do we add to it so that so that it gives me the identity identity element with respect to addition and identity element with respect to addition was. <coughs> Excuse me. Identity element with respect to addition was zero, and also the same thing added with two should give you zero. What should be the answer? The answer should be minus two, right? <clears throat> so what do we mean? We mean that the negative of a number. So negative of a number is its additive inverse correct additive inverse <coughs> do we get the point let's say we define the multiplication in r multiplication multiplicative inverse will be in, in, in r right 
Now, now what is it? You'll soon understand we are trying to define it in R minus zero. <clears throat> so, so if it is five, what should I multiply it with so that it gives me the multiplicative inverse which we had found to be one, right? So this into five, what is that? That is, that is one upon five. So the reciprocal of a number, okay? So reciprocal of a number is its multiplicative inverse. Isn't it? Because it's multiplicative inverse, right? <clears throat> and and you should also understand that this b should be a fixed number. It's fine. This b should be a fixed thing. If it keeps on shifting from one to another, if it is not unique, then it will not be called a multiplicative or, or, or an inverse, even if it yields you the identity. Understand? Even if it yields you the identity, it will not be <coughs> called <coughs> an inverse. Okay? Yes. And also that B should belong to the set you are talking about. It should not go out of that. And both these operations must be satisfied. Okay. We'll soon see even in the examples that there are cases where one of these is satisfied and this is not satisfied. Then it will fail to be qualified as the inverse of an element. Right. <clears throat> 